Welcome back to Push Kiting. Dave and... Me. Him, that chap. We've got some new foil stuff. So we've got some new foils and we use our hydrofoils loads and chuck them in and out of the van the whole time. So we've got the Noir Matter Quick Flight System. Use my arms. This is AJ's arms, he's got big arms. They're brown arms, he's been tanning a lot. You're gonna tan more by the reflection of the sun off my arm. Brown. brown. Very brown. So yeah, we've got the quick flight system from Noir Massa. They sent this over so we can have a little go because we're using our foils a lot. So this is gonna hopefully work out a lot easier for us. We have to set up and pack down less, which is always nice. Basically, the idea of this system is instead of having to detach and attach the foil system um, through lots of separate Allen keys, you have two plates, one bolts to the board and one bolts to the foil system. And you've got one thumb screw here Take that down far enough, yep. And out it comes. So then your foil and your board are separated. I'm just gonna go with our most used foil that we, we've got, which will probably be on the shorter board. And we're gonna discuss what foil. What foil should we use, AJ? We're not gonna use the GT foil. Carve. Day to day, do you reckon Carve 900? Carve 900. That is quite nice, isn't it? We've got the Carve, oh, Carve 950. 950. Uh, which is the carbon fiber carve foil. That's the best all round foil, it's really, really nice. Uh, and then we've also got the Freeride 700, um, which is from the carbon compound rather than carbon fibre, so it's a bit cheaper. Um, it's still a very nice foil, um, really nice low, low end and really good for just cruising about. The Carb 950 is uh, a better all round, you've got actually a better low end and also a better top speed. Right, we've got a couple new boards. We've got the Pace 410 and we've got the Pace, which one is this? The 311. This one I'm going to use for racing. Our quick release system, we're going to use the smaller board. Um, this one, we're always going to have a bit more power in our kites, so we can go for a slightly smaller board. We use this uh, every day, um, and we're going to pop the quick flight system onto this and our car foil, so it's a nice big foil, so we can get up nice and easy. We don't need much volume on the board, and it's quite fun having a small board. Then I've got the big board there. Um, we're not going to use it as much. Uh, that's just going to be my sort of play board with the race foil. Um, so I'm going to leave that without the quick flight system. So we take the two plates apart and this is the plate that goes up against the board. So I'm going to slide that in here. The one thing that I noticed straight away, the odd question is there's, there's no EVA pad on the bottom of this section here. Um, and so that's going to be pressing straight against the board. This is going to be a, a one time fit solution. Um, we shouldn't need to take it on and off, but I'd still prefer, I might get a little um, soft pad and put that there. I was automatically assuming that's at the front, but I don't know, that could easily be at the back. Um, let's see if that's marked up. I guess it doesn't really matter. But Does it? If force is coming against the hydrofoil mm. this way, you want the system, so if that's there, this plate would go in there. The force is coming that way on the foil, so if it did want to, that would pull it out. So I'd say actually that would be better, because then the hydrofoil is pushing that back in place. So that's going to be nicer. So we'll have it this way round. Uh, you do get all your own M8 hex, hex uh, top screws in there, but we've got some with the board anyway. We we'll get those done up loosely at the start, and then we might adjust it forwards and backwards once we've got the foil set up, and put that on top as well. Just making sure that the brass inserts are properly inside the fittings inside the board. The interesting thing is, this does allow you to move the foil further forward or backwards than the manufacturer would actually let you do normally. Be careful you don't put it too far forwards or backwards and can't ride it. Always oh, a bit sharp on the knuckles. Right, so that is the section attached to the board. We have a top section here that would fit in, slot in place, and then you do that up. So we've got to attach that to the hydrofoil now. We need to build our foil. So this is a really nice setup here. The only thing I'd say is, um, yeah, I'd like the EVA pad underneath here to make it a little bit softer. Um, and these corners here are quite sharp, actually, once you've removed this section. Um, so for our use, if we've got this, chucking this onto the boat, um, I'd have to be quite cautious about those little corners here. When you actually close it together, and this is how it shuts together, then that actually feels all very smooth and there's no sharp edges exposed. So it's literally just this section here, I think, once it's, um, yeah, when it's unlocked, 
is the tricky bit. You slide that in, do that up, put that down, and that is your quick flight system locked in place. Can't move it forward and backwards because the screw is in there, uh, and then your foil would have to move forward as well. Um, so as long as you're checking that regularly. But as you release this, there's a little bit of a spring, a little bit of give in the metal. I think that tension is holding the screw shut nice and easy. There you go. So that grips quite well. So time will tell how well that holds, but it looks okay to me. So the next section is mounting the next plate to the mast base plate. So um, yeah, I've got these inserts here, which I hope are stainless. I'm sure they are. Um, I'm going to put these underneath the mast and screw in our bolts here. So we've got a whole selection of bolts. Ours, actually, the M814s, uh, seems to be fitting quite well. It's going to be awkward sitting like this. Isn't it? There we go. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so that is our mast. And then attaching and detaching the board. It, I mean, the key is now that it's tallless. So we can just do this, have this in the back of the car, and fit it in and out, hopefully, fairly easily and securely. Marker. There we go. Error, 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 error. error. Wow. So that something's curved. Do you reckon the board is curved slightly, and that's or is not. it the base plate? Something's something's rocking, isn't it? There you go. So it's not fitting at the moment, and the EVA pad is actually pushing up the centre of this mounting bracket as the bolts are holding it down. So because there's now a little bit of a curve in it, it won't actually slide slide in place. So we can't actually fit it to the board now. A little bit of progress. I've done that way. So it clicks out. You can lift it out and to put it back in and give it a proper shunt across. Um, I've had to loosen these off because the EVA pad under here is pushing against the central part of this brace, the central part of this bracket, bending it out. So we'll see if we can get that back in again. We have to get it perfectly lined up, which is a little bit tricky. Once you're there though, slide it in. The only, the only way I managed to get this in is by loosening off all these four screws. My hope is that if I do this up now, because the whole idea of this system is that it's tallless, so if I do this up now, um, that will flex against the foam pad at the bottom here and put pressure on it again. But if I leave that overnight, that might bed in the pad here um, and cause that to flatten the EVA pad off. Uh, if that happens, then we'll be able to carry on using it. If it doesn't work like that, and we can't actually um, get this in without undoing these tools, uh, undoing these bolts, then it is not going to be very useful. Okay, so to get it on, I had to actually loosen all the bolts off, um, and then the EVA pad wasn't pushing and distorting the top section here, the top plate. Um, managed to get it on, tighten up all the, the bolts again, and we've left it for about half an hour to try and settle in in the foam pad, maybe flatten it off a little bit. So I'll just undo this section now, and it should just be as simple as... That's a lot, that's a lot of force, it did actually go a bit... Yeah. Ah, oh, That's hurting my hand pushing down that hard. So that's a bit of an issue, because the whole idea of this system is to be super easy and just pop it out without any tools. However, at the moment we can't. Once it's bedded in, that would be okay. We could tear off the pad here um, by taking off the entire pad. Hopefully that would sit against the flush and it's not gonna be bending the plate out of place. It's just, it's a brand new hydrofoil and I don't really wanna tear the whole pad off if I don't need to. So I'm gonna leave that bolted in there uh, for the next day or two and then when I come back to it, hopefully that will be bedded in enough so it will be able to slide on and off. Uh, so yeah, TB continued in a couple of days. See you soon. So we are a few weeks on from when we last shot. Um, I think slightly less hair, less beard. And now we've got the board all set up. Mm -mm. 
looking super saucy with our 1500 wing, which is very nice. Um, and we fixed the issue we had with this. So I put a metal washer underneath this fixing, this fixing, and that has taken, relieved the pressure uh, from, from the mounting plate. So now we should be able to just unscrew that. Twist that round and shunt that forward, and that just lifts off. And that is now working. So we can pop that on, take it off very quickly. So those little washers just relieve the pressure from the foam. So I got those a couple of days after we installed it, and now that means that uh, yeah, that sits flat now. And this section here, this section here, is now nice and flat. Um, it slides on and off really easy. Okay, so that is the Noir Matter quick flight system and our journey right from starting out, just getting the foil, all the way up to uh, having it for a couple of weeks um, where we've been using it daily. And here are my thoughts. So I'll start with the negatives first. Um, a couple of things, issues that we had. First of all, in the whole frame is uh, CNC aluminium and it's a really nice, really nicely done package however the the edges are so super sharp they're like razors and i'm sure i mean they've actually sliced my harness um because i was worried about it cutting the boat and so i just rested on my harness and as i picked up the the uh, the mast um it just grabbed and sliced into the foam in the back of my harness uh so that illustrates to me how how horribly sharp it was you've got sections like that on the board and sections like that on on the mast as well so you've got to be super careful. And what I've actually done now, I've taken a file and I've rounded off every single sharp edge that I could find and so I, now I can run my hand over it and I don't come up bleeding which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see that on all the edges if they're going to make an improvement. Definitely, that's the, the biggest fact, so the biggest issue we've had. Uh, one reason that I thought they might have left the edges so sharp is that um, it creates quite a quite a snug fit on the whole system as the plates come together um, they join really snugly because there's those sh sharp edges that come round. Um, now I did wonder if they'd left it like that because as you touch down on the water you instead of got, having a base plate that's maybe I don't know, seven or eight mil now you've got the the whole quick flight system which is like three times that so you've got the top plate the bottom plate on the mast and then you've got the actual mast itself. So it triples effectively the height of the, the section connected to the board. So as the water touches your board and runs down the underside of your board, it's now hitting something that's a lot larger and you get a lot more grab from that. One reason I thought that they might have left, that, left it the way they did is so that when you touch down water, the water runs past it. It's a bit more aerodynamic, but I don't think it'll make a difference. Um, the grab is the grab effect isn't that great. You certainly notice it a bit more. Um, so if you're spending a lot of time uh, touching down and just getting up and touching down and getting up, um, it is noticeable. You notice the the extra sort of snatch that you get from the board, but it's not something that I have ever found knock me off the board. And the last negative point is that the the thumb screw when you put that in um, that could be wider because it's quite small. So as you go and put it in, you are putting a lot of pressure on a small area in your fingers, um, so that is uh, slightly painful if you're really trying to get it on hard, as hard as you can. Uh, and onto the positives, it is a uh, it gives you a slightly higher ride. That's only fractional, so it's neither here nor there. Then you've actually got the, the fact that it's taller, so you can just pop it together really quickly and take it apart. Grab our equipment out of the van, literally just snap it together, and you're on your way. Um, and the third is that we actually save huge amounts of time every day. But overall, we really like the uh, the system. It just saves a lot, saves us a lot of time, saves us hunting around for tools. It's very quick and easy. We would definitely find it annoying to go back to having to get all four bolts and get some tools and put it all together. So yeah, really like this system. Uh, recommend it, even though there are a few faults, they definitely can be corrected. I hope you enjoyed that video and that gave you some information about the Noir Matter Quick Flight System. Uh, that you found useful and whether you go and get yourself one if you've already got yourself one give us some comments below uh, tell people how you got on with it as well and like and subscribe for some more oh and i filmed a bit of a freestyle hydro 4 video which i'll link as well so you should check that out um, and i'll chuck a few little bits of it over the video scattered through so you might have already seen a few little bits of it and then you'll see a load more um, if you go and check out the whole video enjoy bye bye